Hello everyone, welcome back to another Demon Slayer unboxing and review video. Today I got the Artifex J Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Let's get right into it. Alright, so here we have him out of the box. His head is removable. Let's take a good look at that. So this one is awesome. He has the fighting stance, so of course his face is gonna be fierce. He's got an open mouth, just like he's getting ready to attack. Let's take a look inside of the mouth. The tongue is well sculpted and his teeth are nicely done. On the eyes he's got this really cool pattern right here. It almost looks like some fire like below his, his eyes. I think that looks sick. They're really well done. They did an awesome job on this one. The hair is also really well painted and shaded as well you can see it's darker in the bottom and then you get more of a red tint on top which looks awesome and then of course his earrings both look amazing for being that small it's really good that they have that amount of detail and they, they just look perfect and the hair it kind of like starts black and then moves on to a red lighter tone Taking a look at his scar, which looks more like a marking than a scar, covers half his forehead. There's the handle of the sword. And then of course, he doesn't want to break it, he's broken a couple already, and that's no, that's no fun for him. The paint job on the blade is actually really amazing, it kind of looks like a real one. Which I'm really excited about. It looks really good. Seems on this one they really, really went good with the details. Added a lot of it, even though they're not even gonna be noticeable. But yeah, the sword looks fantastic. Now we just line this up, and boom, that easy. And if we want to put his sword in, he just slides. Take a look at his outfit. Now this looks amazing. It's got this uh, checkered pattern all over, you know, the jacket or coat, whatever you want to call it, that he usually wears. Got some folds right here, just like if it's flowing in the air. Like the wind is pushing it up to make the pose look more dynamic. This just looks fantastic. It's even got some folds to make it look more realistic and cloth-like, even down here. And from behind, there is some shading done, you can see. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or if it's just a manufacturing issue, but looks like there's some black painting on the, on the green. I think they probably did it to make it have more depth and make it look a little more realistic. And I don't think that's a paint issue at all, because it looks phenomenal on this one. I know his uh, Demon Slayer corpse attire, wow. You can just see the brown and the black coming in together and all the folds right here, the buttons. And then of course he's got his uh, sword, he puts in the sword, that's also detailed nice, nicely with a nice black finish. The belt, you know, just a basic white belt, I'm just adding to the details of the figure. It's not just like a white stripe, but it actually has like the belt things. But like the buckles right here. In front it's got the buckle, the belt buckle. Then the buttons even have some pattern on them. Which is really good. You can just see how Kodobukiya actually went in. And actually they care a lot about it, the small details on these figures. Which is really nice. The clothing se seems amazing. It looks fantastic. Now the buttons on this thing right here, they are just plain buttons. It doesn't look like they have a pattern on it or anything but the bandages look fantastic then his sandals and his feet they just got this amazing coloring to them and even on the bandages there is some shading done on it so it's not just one plain color but it's also got more colors it's a little darker and now the other leg pretty much the same thing as the other one the red straps right here and then we got the base Pretty much the same as the Nezuko one. Now there are some markings on the ground as if he was sliding like right here. Like taking a fighting stance. Looks really awesome. It doesn't look like real rock or real ground, whatever it's supposed to be. But other than the base, the figure just looks fantastic. It's, they did a phenomenal job on the painting. Even like if you want to look at it from behind like this. It's 
it's just perfect. Back here we even got like the, the Demon Slayer Corpse logo all the, all the way engraved in the back. So that's a nice detail. See, he's about seven inches tall, and I'll move on to putting him beside the other Kotobukiya Demon Slayer figures. Here we got the other Demon Slayer figures by Kotobukiya, Nesuko, and Zenitsu. Of course, they're from the same line, so they look amazing together. I got Inosuke pre order, I got it on Namiyami, but he should be here in one to two months, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Yeah, if you can if you can get this line, if you like Demon Slayer and you want to have like the four main characters together, this is probably your best bet. They look amazing. The quality is just fantastic. And of course, their poses are really dynamic and awesome. They're just going to look great together as they're supposed to. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.